I think it's very important that he does ease up on these regulations. I mean, that is the lifeblood of this community and the whole Gulf Coast. So uh, with the moratorium, so many restaurants, so many hardware stores, mom and pops all had to close. It just dried up the community. So that's my steering mechanism. This is my shrimp net. Are we going to be catching shrimp in? Fishing lines to fish. Here's the boat. Not this see how much BP had to pay out. So everybody's being very careful. And there's so many regulations now, safety regulations, for the oil companies have to abide by to prevent another spill. Just like the Valdez, with every major tragedy, there's tons of regulations that come in to police them. But you can over-regulate and over-police and kill an industry. And that's what the Obama administration did to this area, in my opinion. Right, well you don't want to give anybody free reign. You do have to regulate it and keep it safe, but there's sensible things to do. I think the Obama administration was anti-oil, anti-Louisiana. We were a Republican state, Texas, Republican state. You know, I don't want to get political, but you watch the news. The world is political. Yes, there's from the oil spill, there should have been some regulation, uh, you know, more, uh, you know, people checking on it. But I mean, there was no reason for the point that they went to with it. And since um, Obama put all those regulations on it, we have a lot of people have lost their jobs. And my, our part of it was to take the oils from the refineries and bring them around. We, we, our work included from Houston all the way up to, into Mississippi, sometimes even Florida. Um, I do know that the entire fossil fuel industry is not the future and that is not positive for the environment, it's positive for the economy, but I think it has to be watched really closely because when you get big money, you also get people who are very short-sighted and not interested in the long-term effects on the environment. And I understand people's jobs and the fact that they need to work and they work in the oil industry and I certainly wouldn't want to stop that. But at the same time, I think looking back on the spill that cost about $60 billion and over a million seabirds and the whole fishing industry destroyed for lack of controls, I would feel that removing controls is not a good thing and that actually the amount of money made in oil maybe more controls can be easily afforded uh, to make sure it's safer for the environment because the environment is really important and um, I am an outdoors person I like going to the outdoors and I am very uh, opposed to anything that could damage any environmental area <laughs>